there's a few elements to look at as you highlight um just call it a mildly uh miss or mild disappointment in the result today where we've seen uh Iron ore guidance revised towards the low end of the range, but quite frankly, our consensus is really kind of expecting that. Um, and even if Rio Tinto is to miss guidance for the year, uh, that's not going to be too outside what the market's expecting. But on top of that, we saw um, some uh, uh, issues with the conveyor in the aluminium division. We've seen uh, th- th- there's going to be uh, some smelter work for copper next year. So there's a, a number of different kind of headwinds uh, on that front as well. But the broader story, of course, still is about how uh, does Rio Tinto face, you know, versus, a, you know, a, a, a BHP in a backdrop where we might face a major recession? Uh, you know, our view has always been that Rio Tinto looks relatively cheap. It trades on a similar or even slightly cheaper multiple to BHP, despite the fact that it's actually now got some uh, more tangible growth in the midterm than BHP does. Uh, and it's on this ESG road to recovery post the Yukon Gorge uh, disaster a couple of years ago. And uh, the, the, the optics around that and the ESG pressures around that are likely to lift um, it with time. That all said, uh, if we do face this global recession, base metals get hit the hardest. And that's going to hit um, Rio's aluminium uh, division, at least in the, in the near term. And we'll also see a flight to quality. Um, whereas coal would quite stay quite high, even in a recessionary scenario, given what's going on with a very tight gas market. And so sure. BHP might outperform in a recession scenario, but on a kind of five-year view, we think Rio Tinto still got some relative outperformance to go. Okay, what kind? I mean, could you quantify it? Uh, we can easily make a case for 10 to 20% upside from here, um, particularly as they start to bring on some of that growth as the... ESG road to recovery plays out and we see a recovery, particularly in aluminium, while it could be hit short term, mid term, aluminium looks at one of the most structurally bullish commodities in the metal suite there is out there, because despite growing demand, very much led by growth in energy transition infrastructure and rollout around the world, there's a real lack of supply where it's hard to bring on new aluminium capacity. So that should give Rio Tinto a bit of an edge over the next uh, three to five years. But again, recession, near-term impacts um, can mask all of that on, on, on a several-month yeah. view. 